Hello everyone and welcome to another episode on the Scratch Built Design. Now this episode is going to be really awesome for me because it's getting the front suspension on which is going to really give the car its character. As you can see I'm running a push rod style suspension with a bell crank and you're going to be able to see the suspension from the top of the car. This is it running through its motion. There's a couple of reasons that people do this. You can get a progressive spring rate and I might put a, a, a link in the description below on someone who explains more about that. And the other reason is it can bring the weight more central and get it away from the wheels um, and so on, which isn't a huge advantage for me, but I love the way it looks. And that's why um, I've decided to go with this type of suspension. All right, so we've just cleaned up the garage and put the car right in the middle. So now we can work around the front again. Next step is to get the front shocks in so then the car can hold itself up in the front. And it's it's gonna be quite cool because it's gonna actually start closing the front in and, and sort of giving you more of what the front's gonna look like. So this is the bow crank that my front suspension is going to pivot on, just tacked together at the moment. Now I've already pushed the outer race of the bearings into this on either side. So this is the shaft that uh, I'll have video of CNC machining it on the lathe that work. Uh, it's come out mint. I've since bought a hole up the back of it to so far in because it's going to be held out here and all the force is going to be here and there was just a whole lot of extra weight out the back that wasn't needed to be there so that's all gone and that's still 5mm thick so it's still strong as anyway now on the bottom of this shaft will go the bearing seal there then this bearing will be on top of it and that's the uh, part for the seal to run on and then it's stepped down and that pushes on the back of the bearing then on the top of the bearing, uh, that one there goes there, and it's, so it's essentially those two because they're both tapered roller bearings, they're squeezing together this way when you do up the locking nut. So by doing that it's the same as like a trailer wheel hub and it gives you good force in all the different directions that could happen and it's, I know that this is well overkill for how like the sizes I went with everything, but uh, I just want it to be safe and, and easy and off the shelf parts. So this is what I've gone with and it should run, make the suspension run really smoothly. So yeah, let's hope that it works out right and we'll see it all come together. <laughs> So here we've got a mock-up and I've cut this bracket here which one ties this part of the car together uh, triangulating it and also has this bolt-on bracket for our shaft. I've made it bolt-on so we can use it as an adjustment point and then we have this is the shock we're using it's a QA1 with an adjuster um, it's got one of the lower spring rates you can get because the front's going to be quite light. Um, I've only brought one set of springs so far because I'm going to try them in the front and the back and if I need to go lighter I can go one step lighter but I can go a whole lot heavier. So I'm hoping these are going to be good for the front if my math is right and we'll get some heavier ones for the back but we'll just wait and see.
Alrighty, now I've got the front set up with the bell cranks in place and I'm going to go through, do a little bit more welding and then the next step to do is joining the bell crank here down to the original shocky mount on the MX-5 arm. Now I'm going to have to work out some spaces in that first uh, and the gap but I'll have some footage of me uh, machining the push rods and a little explanation and then all going well hopefully I'll be able to drop this thing down on the springs and see how it all works so that's this weekend's go anyway and let's crack into it So as you can see here I'm drilling and tapping either end of this piece of medium tensile and when I tap it I do one end your standard right hand thread and the other end left hand thread so that way when you turn the shaft in the middle it pushes the rod ends at either end out or in uh, depending on what you want and it just makes adjustment a lot easier. Alrighty, so now I'm going to drop the car down on its front springs for the first time. Hopefully it doesn't all fall to bits. I've, it's still tacked, but I was, the few stitches there now, it's quite a lot stronger. So I'm pretty sure it should hold it. I uh, still need to do some spacing bushes for the bottom of the push rods. But I'm happy the way it is to drop it down and see if it sits, which is a big moment for the build really. Let's take that slow. Here we are, sitting it right over. And it looks like it's working. Cool, so I've just uh, been fiddling around with the dampering. And if I wind it all the way off, it creates a lot more movement in the front. And to get a little more example of how it works. So I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, this video has been a long time in the making. Couple of reasons for that. One is I've been working on other parts of the car at the same time getting footage for videos to come out. Two is we actually sold a house and brought a new house and now we've got a whole lot more room to work on the vehicle. Currently got a pool table here because it is the festive season. So the things that have been happening on the car lately and to finish off the front suspension is I've been making all the wee bushes and spaces for spots like this and like this and now when I jump up and down on it it's silent it sounds really good and things are a lot more uh, fixed it's got the right size bolts in there some of them still need to be trimmed but I'm not going to do that until I put nylocks on and I've fully welded it out so I'm really happy with the way it's going probably got some different wheels from when you last seen it as well so Stay tuned, there's going to be another video coming out real shortly uh, to explain what's been going on back there. So see you soon. Thanks for watching.